am just being blown away by all this color. Oh my gosh. And I'm colorblind, y'all, so I can only imagine how pretty it must look to folks that can see the full spectrum of colors. Because it's just breathtaking to me. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to the Zapata Falls Trail. This morning we are going to do this hike right here. We're going to hike up to Zapata Falls and we're going to cross the river and we're going to go all the way up here to South Zapata Lake. Should be about five miles up and five miles back. Climb a steep trail for a full day of adventure in the San de Cristo wilderness. The trail rises steeply through forests and aspen groves. Yes! To tree line above tree line, finding the trail in the lush grassy meadows is a challenge. The crystal clear waters of South Zapata Lake are nestled at the base of Ellington Point, which towers 2,100 feet above the lake. Sounds like an awesome hike, guys. Let's get going. It is great to be back here in the Zapata Wilderness, the Zapata Recreational Area. Most likely, I will hit the falls up. On my way back down this afternoon when it's a lot warmer. Because right now it's only about 40, maybe 45. Pretty chilly. Perfect for hiking though. Ah, feels good to be back on trail. It's been a couple of days. Sounds like the crowds are riding behind me. Beautiful sunrise this morning. So cool camping here at the uh, Zappa campground. You can you sit way up on the side of the mountain, on the side of the valley there, so you can watch the sun come up. Not necessarily seeing the sun, but seeing the sunlight way out in that valley out there. <coughs> Pretty steep trail, just like I remember it. Should be a good workout today. All right, let's put this thing away, get to some hiking. Sun's almost over the ridge here. You can see some of the beautiful aspen out that way. And then of course the dunes are coming into the, the screen there on the left. Nice high view of the dunes. And the Sangre de Cristo is all around them. This area is 
Amazing. Well, one thing that's apparent, you need to be careful where you step. <laughs> as much as I like to roam around off trail, I get a feeling on this one, we're probably going to stay pretty close to the dirt path. Arg, there be gold in them there hills. <laughs> Look at that. Fantastic. We are about to enter the Aspen Groves. And to be here at this time of year, whew, I feel like such a lucky man. So blessed. So blessed. Look at this. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Give me all your Aspens. So, so pretty. Wow. Well, we're at our first creek crossing. <clears throat> I think we're just going to go across right here. I prefer dry logs to wet, slippery rocks any day. found on the trail. Somebody's old cabin. Man, that's a nice spot too. Check out the view. Fantastic. Looks like the roof could use a little work. Comes with a heating system, uh, air conditioning, a little bit of a fixer upper. This must have been the uh, maybe the barn area, storage or something. Somebody clearly had them a little homestead up here. And what a great spot for it! Wow. They weren't lying when they said this trail is steep. But you get some nice views. There's looking west out into the valley. Got some nice splashes of color up through this valley I'm climbing beside. And then on up ahead you can see there's some more up in that valley. And it looks like we're headed probably straight for all those trees. And in behind there is what if I was going to make a guess, I'm going to say up that pass is where we're headed. But I don't know. We'll find out as we get closer. Until then, let's enjoy these views. Okay, so I'm kind of in a bit of a situation here. I just came around this corner and there was a bear up there. And he was right on that corner right there and he was real small. Which has me thinking, where's mama? So I'm gonna hang out right here for a few minutes and just chill. I'm gonna make some noise and some ruckus, give them a chance to get on down the trail or down the mountain, whichever way they opt to go. But, uh, yeah, at first I thought there was a person and then I thought it was a dog and then it turned and looked at me and I realized it was a little bear, <laughs> kind of a, almost a cinnamon color, little black bear. So very cool. Ooh. <laughs> and we made it through that little section there and, uh, we've come up the trail a few hundred more yards, uh, we're at a little creek crossing here, about halfway up. Uh, we've been hiking for a couple hours, so. Making decent time. I'm not really in a big hurry. I've got all day to do this hike. Just having a great time. I haven't seen anybody else on the trail. It's been real quiet. Uh, just, just the one bear. Never did see Mama go by. So I don't know. Maybe 
may have just been a small bear. Uh, Mama may have already been off the trail. It's hard telling. But, uh, well, I'm going to get some more water and uh, grab a little snack. And then we will uh, keep making our way up this mountain. I am just being blown away by all this color. Oh my gosh. And I'm colorblind, y'all, so I can only imagine how pretty it must look to folks that can see the full spectrum of colors. Because it's just breathtaking to me. <laughs> Another old cabin site. Not much left of it now. Well, we've cleared the aspens. Right down there's the last of them. And we are up high enough now where the aspens don't grow. It's just the pine trees. And I'm seeing a lot of dead ones already. I'm curious. It'll be interesting to see if this area has been hit with the pine beetle as bad as like Lakes of the Clouds was. There's a big dead one. A few dead ones in there. There's still a lot of green here. This kind of reminds me of the way Lakes of the Clouds looked first time I visited. There was a handful of dead trees here and there. I think the infestation must have just been starting. So I guess I'm kind of glad to be out here hiking this now. Because if the pattern holds true, this area will be devastated in the next few years from looking at the way these trees are dying off. Kicked up a little herd of deer up here near the lake, I believe. Here's a little buck. What's up, little fella? There's a little doe right back here behind him. And there's couple more bouncing around over here on the right side. Those other two little guys bounced around out here somewhere. Quite an opening. This little doe is following me. Oh, she's showing me where the campsite is. Wow, look. There's a nice little campsite right up here. That's probably the, I'm going to say the fourth or fifth campsite I've seen while hiking this trail. So if somebody wanted to backpack this, are you following me? There's plenty of places to camp. Oh, there's the little ones. They're back there. Mama was just rounding them up. <laughs> got it, got it. I got a feeling we're getting pretty close to the lake. I haven't looked at the map lately. We have just cleared tree line. Our lake's got to be back in this corner here somewhere. Probably going to be all the way back here in front of that rock face. But you know what? It's cool. Just means I get to hike a little farther. And honestly, <laughs> look around. I can't think of anything I'd rather be doing or anywhere else I'd rather be doing it. So, eh. longer hike. Perfect.
Oh, well, now for positive. I think this is it. Nice pretty lake. Looks like the trail might keep going on up that way. So I think I may climb up there here in a minute. Let's see what's up there. Anyway. Some views. It does have a kind of a glacial tint to it. Well, that's a little disappointing. <laughs> so apparently that was the uh, South Zapata Lake back there that we passed. We, uh, we followed that little trail you can see in the valley down there. All the way up to about that point right there. And then it just stops. It kind of disappears. There's a couple of Karens in the uh, screw field to the right of that. But I mean, you know, there's nowhere to go. There's no trail in there. I even went off trail and hiked up there to the end of the grass. And there's nothing else up there. It's pretty much the end. You just got the basin and the mountains wrapped all the way around us here. So we're kind of like in our own little cirque. <laughs> the Cirque of the Zapata. And uh, went ahead and decided to stop and have a little bit of lunch. It is high noon, so we whipped out some cheese and some summer sausage. We got some uh, some gorp in here, yeah, some gorp, good old raisins and peanuts. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're just gonna sit here and enjoy the sunshine and enjoy our meal. Just enjoy being here. It's just a beautiful place. <laughs> Got it all to myself. I thought I heard somebody earlier, but I've not seen anybody up here. And there's not anywhere anybody could have went to. Just me and the pikas. Well, I didn't record too much of the trip coming down. Took some pictures, but uh, pretty much the same stuff. Beautiful aspens, lots of pines, no critters this time, uh, a couple of water crossings, and yeah, nothing real exciting that you guys haven't seen before. So the next thing up is something new that you guys have not seen yet, and that is going to be the waterfall. We are back at the falls, we are about to make our way up, and there's quite a crowd up there, so we just have to see how hard it is to get in there and see it. Is this the line? <laughs> I'm from Texas, I don't get in cold water. Folks, there we have it. A day in the Zapata Recreation Area. It's been a fantastic day, man. We saw some beautiful colors. We saw an awesome lake. Some fantastic mountain peaks up there. Got some good hiking in. Saw a deer, saw what, four deer? A 
bear, a marmot, heard a gazillion pikes. I saw an awesome waterfall. It's been a, been a fantastic day. So, making our way back to the campground now. And this is where I wrap up today here in Colorado. Thanks for watching.